One of the reasons why you don't get what you want is because you don't hold that image in your mind. What I mean by that is when I ask people, you know, in coaching sessions, what it is that you want, they tell me what I call to be a positive negative. What I mean by that is that they tell me, you know, Florian, I don't want to struggle financially anymore, or I don't want to be stuck in this job anymore, or I don't want, you know, to, you know, to struggle in general. And what happens is that instead of them, you know, telling me what it is that they want, they tell me what they don't want. And think about this. What kind of image comes to your mind when you hear something like, I don't want to struggle financially anymore? It's impossible for you and I to, you know, think about this situation without having in our mind an image of someone struggling, you know, an image of or a memory from our previous experiences where we were in a place of struggle. And what happens is that, you know, we are not aware that this is how our subconscious mind. So our subconscious mind works like a servo mechanism, like a cybernetic mechanism. And what the cybernetic mechanism does, it, it, you, give, you give it a target and, and it will do whatever possible, use all the means that it has to reach that target. And this is how an autopilot you know, mechanism works in a plane. So if you would take a plane from point A to point B, let's say from Paris to London, you know, as soon as the plane, take, oh, the plane takes off from, from Paris and reaches the cruise altitude, the pilot sits on the autopilot, says the destination for London's Heathrow Airport, and, and just laid back. That's why you see sometimes, you know, the pilot, you know, going out and leaving the, the, the cabin because, you know, the, the, the plane, it's in autopilot, right? And it's a lot easier to be, you know, on autopilot up there in the sky than, than on the street. But, but also this is how it works, the, you know, the speed regulator in, in your car. It works in exactly the same way. You set the speed and, and then the regulator, you know, corrects the speed. Um, the temperature thermostat in a, in a room works in exactly the same way. And what happens during the, that flight from Paris to London is that as soon as you know, they reach the, the, the altitude, uh, the right altitude, um, there would be a wind right, coming from different directions that will put the plane you know, off track. And what will happen? The mechanism will use all the means possible, the flaps, the throttle, the thrust, everything to bring the plane back on track. And what will happen? Then you have another goose of wind, and then another one, and then most of the time, actually, the plane will be off track. But eventually, it will go and it will reach Londo Heathrow because this is how it works. Every single time, the you know the servo mechanism will bring the plane back on track. In the same way, your mind, your subconscious mind, works as a servo mechanism, and the image that you have about what it is that you want. It's the target. So when you talk about what it is that you don't want, you hold a negative image in your mind, and that's the command that you give to your subconscious mind. And surprise, surprise, what we get in our life is what it is that we don't want. Because instead of looking at what it is that we want and saying, I want prosperity, I want to you know, work in a place where I feel fulfilled and I, I feel motivated, and have that image of a place that motivates you, that fulfills you, instead of an image where you struggle. If you do that, if you change that image, that the command that you give to your subconscious mind, that's what you will create in your life. I know this sounds a little bit, you know, strange that that is maybe, you know, um, against some of your beliefs, but trust me, if you would dig deeper in this subject and if you want to join us because we will we will hold a workshop on this, I'm sure you will understand more and you will change your results because I know it worked for me and it will work for you. So I look forward to seeing you in the workshop. Thank you for tuning in. Take care. See you next time.